Hey, uh, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach. Yesterday when I was uh, driving down the road in the Russell Cruiser, I uh, came upon a uh, blockbuster uh, that was closing. Everything was marked down. Uh, well, I stopped mostly because the sign said everything was marked down to 75% uh, off. Uh, but then once I got in, uh, they uh, had marked everything down that was a used DVD to a dollar. And then uh, almost everything else was just a bargain uh, uh, sell to get out the door. If you were in the need for uh, any shelving or anything like that, uh, they are selling anything in the store that's not uh, nailed down. I mean, they were at the point where they were even selling uh, their computers, uh, their registers, their printers, all of the shelving throughout the store. Um, they were, uh, if, if you were to pay $20 a shelf, they would go over and they would unscrew the shelf from you. And you could take the shelf right off the new release rack and walk it right out the car, uh, out to your uh, door from the car. But, um, I don't know. I didn't find anything that was, like, spectacular. I did find two things that were wrestling related. I bought one thing for my Christmas collection. But uh, people kept asking me on Twitter uh, what I did get. And there was too many things to uh, put on there. I bought... $17 worth of things, and a lot of these ones are movies that my wife got, but uh, for the wrestling-related people, I got uh, on Blu-ray, uh, The Wrestler. The Wrestler is the one that I already had on DVD. Uh, my wife used to work at uh, Blockbuster when we uh, first got together and we first got married, and uh, I used to buy all of my movies from there. Everybody was a big fan of the 3 for 20 uh, sale. Every once in a while, there would even be a 4 for 20 sale. Um, and I would build my DVD collection that way. Uh, it was a real easy way. Um, and then sort of Blockbuster or maybe the movie people caught on. And, uh, I noticed that when Blockbuster was getting new releases in, uh, they were not having the, um, special features on them. So I mostly stopped buying uh, my DVDs, by the way, because if you have the movie, but a lot of times you want to have the DVD that has the special features on it. That's the best thing about it. So, like, it was a good thing to go there if you wanted to watch a movie, but not really to own the movies anymore because they would come out with things that would say retail ex exclusive on the bottom, which means it didn't have anything on it. I bought The Wrestler that way. The Wrestler on Blu-ray Blu -ray, does come with the extras. One of the extras on here is... Uh, it is a um, uh, within the ring and no holds barred one on one with wrestlers and filmmakers. I remember the great the Hammer Valentine, Lex Luger, a few other wrestlers like that uh, that are you know beat up guys that you would think of as like the movie this movie is after. I think Piper's one of the guys is interviewed about the movie. They said they'll sit down thing. Really cool to get this. I have it on DVD, but like I said, I'm replacing it with the Blu-ray. Um, I got. Um, Where's my other wrestling movie? I got another wrestling. I thought I did. Maybe I only got one wrestling movie. I thought I got a movie that had a wrestler in it. And I was like, well, at least I can show those off first and then say, oh, I got Legendary. The John Cena movie on Blu ray for a dollar. Uh. I honestly thought this was a really, really good movie. I'm not sure if this is on Netflix anymore, but at least now I have it on Blu-ray, and I'm only into it uh, for a dollar. Anything else that I'm really proud of is this movie cost three dollars, because it was actually a new movie, and it was only 70% off, but I got A Christmas Carol uh, with Jim Carrey. Uh, that was a steal for three dollars. I know we'll watch that one. Uh, for um, YWC stuff... Dinner with the Smucks. I got this for a dollar. This is starring Steve Carell and Paul Rudd. Edge is the best one. So this is the one, one of the worst movies that he's ever seen. He was really excited when he used to talk to us on Skype all the time about seeing this movie. Went and saw it and said it was a big pile of crap. So I take that for what it's worth. Everything else. If you're not a big movie fan, you can turn this off now. Because I don't think you're going to care. Post-grad. I honestly just remember seeing like a commercial for this movie, and I wanted to see it. It was on the shelf for a dollar, so I picked it up. Space Chimps. My kids watched this once for a dollar. I think I'm doing all right. Adventureland. Uh, this was a movie that was actually uh, pretty good, but I thought this was going to be a real, real comedy uh, with the uh, uh, cast they had with uh, Ryan Reynolds 
with um, uh, Bill Hader and um, uh, uh, Kristen Wiggs in this. And uh, it, it was honestly just a normal sort of feel-good drama movie. Uh, just uh, wasn't what I was expecting, but it honestly is a pretty good movie. So, dollar. I know nothing about this. The Bang Bang Club. I think I got this because uh, Ryan Felipe is in it. The Family Tree. Sunshine Cleaning. This is a movie I never heard to see, but I've heard it's bad. Is The Rocker. This is a movie. Eulogy. Nesting. Oh, this one I should have talked about earlier. Crank 2. Crank was one of the best movies of all time, yet he dies at the end. And he stars in the sequel. This I have to see how they do this. And they even brought back Amy Smart. But Amy Smart's not a star anymore, so she didn't get to be on the front of the box. She is on the box, though. So. Pretty hot actress. I don't know what happened to her, but she fell off the face of the earth. But I got all of that for $17. Everything was a dollar except for the one movie that was new, The Christmas Carol, which was $3. They had all their candy marked down, all their sodas marked down. So if you find a blockbuster that's closing, I recommend you head on in there and check it out.